Oh, it started, it started itself. Did you see that? Right. <laughs> this is interesting. Wow. Anyway, hello and welcome. We were just surprised <laughs> that um, we just stopped the recording for the star sign before this one, which was Cancer, and now we're doing Leo. And um, all of a sudden it just came on. So, wow. It's probably spirit, it's spirit saying, stop talking and, 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 and get going. Anyway, if you, didn't, if you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have done that, we were almost and already prepared. So now you messed it up, universe, not us. Anyway, <laughs> hello and welcome to your July 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Charlie Evans. Hello. You are watching Thomas's tarot page, and this is the reading for the sign of Leo. Now remember, we are in the sign of Cancer, and then from the 23rd of July onwards, we are going into the sign of July, into your sign. So when it comes to strength, whatever is happening here over the months, whatever the guides are saying to you in any area, come the 23rd, the, the high energy will all be amplified simply because you're going into your strengths. Downside with Leo is always the same, um, because the sun is what gives all of us energy, but the sun also takes up 98% of all the space. So sometimes when you are not focusing, you find it difficult to actually move about and change. And your depiction is the male lion, whose job, whose only job it is to walk the perimeter, if that makes sense. So there is an isolation feeling when it comes to the months of July, at least from the 23rd, when it comes to, to um, Leo's. Now you are Leo, so you're used to your energy. But for all, the, for all the other star signs that have to deal with you, if that makes sense, when you're in your strengths, remember that if a lion is in his strengths, people are a bit intimidated. So remember to be kind, especially when you go into your own sign, because once you're fully hit by the, by the, by the, um, the sun, you're going from, from being powerful to being kick-ass. So just pay attention and remember that not everybody can deal with the lion when it's charging, right? And the, the lion is the only uh, social social cat, really. So the lion is not super aggressive, right? But they ask me to pay attention to um, the fact that you are uh, sometimes super powerful and not everybody can deal with that. So now we're going into the opportunity. So uh, now we're going into the overall energy because we're dividing this a little bit. So we're looking at the overall energy for the month of July. Then we're looking at the um, emotional core, what can come in, what can go maybe healing or maybe love is coming in before we then go into opportunities and opportunities for the most part are about what uh, sustains you financially and now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of july for the sign of leo okay so um i've got two cards for your overall energy so we've got cloak of wisdom and call to action so there'll be something this month leo that um that you've been thinking about for a while, that you haven't been too sure, but you do know the answer inside. So now is the time to, especially near the end of the month, whilst you've got the higher energy, to use your leadership, use your wisdom, use this call to action and meet the goal that you seek. Get the answer you need and embrace it and use your strength and your power to really hone in on this answer and get the things that you need and get the energy back that you've been waiting for. Thank you so much. And remember, when um, we started this off, you know, I only work here, so I always feel like whatever I say is all spirit-led. So, which is why I don't always remember what I just said, if that makes sense. But what I do recall, obviously, is that the guides were saying to you, make sure that you understand that people can be intimidated almost by your energy. And in your, energy, in your emotional core, which is the area we're looking at, uh, at now you have authenticity and freedom what the guides are saying to you is the problems arise when you try to be who you're not so if you are in a place where you where you have to literally drag yourself right would you advise your best friend to be at that job would you advise you advise your best friend to be in a relationship you are in that sort of thing when the answer is not so sure or no it is on you to make these changes and when you are authentic, right, it's like saying like, I just, this is just how I feel. There is no right or wrong, even though it will affect yourself and others. This is about what you truly feel because the outgoing energy was freedom. And while they're not asking you to break up with anybody, right, 
if that makes sense. It's not what, what, what the energy is. The, but the energy is to look at stuff where you kind of feel like, hmm, is this really a representation of myself? Can I really be 100% myself in that situation? And if not, reclaim that space, which lions would do naturally, if that makes sense. And then you have uh, the freedom depiction is birds. And birds are quite, quite frankly saying to you, if you detach yourself a little and see things from a higher point of view, it is much easier to figure out where you're going. So when you get stuck in, you sometimes read things wrong or you feel overly burdened by having to deal with situations. Just detach yourself a little, which is why it is so important for you to actually be authentic. OK, this is where I am. This is what I'm going to do. Right. So what I'm getting here for Leos is um, they're not talking a lot here about new love. That doesn't mean the love isn't coming in. They're much more concerned, especially as you go into your strongest energy, because we're entering your very sign on the 23rd. This is where they're saying is, well, pay attention to what, how much in your life is actually really you. Right. And then claim all that back so that you're at your strongest because you know when you when you 100 yourself um which means there is no copy people are much more drawn to you so i think it's easy actually to to um attract love if that makes sense if you don't feel like you're five people at once right so and now we're looking at opportunities for the month of july 2022 and i hope opportunities are awesome because it is your birthday months so make people pay for your birthday right here we go. I was just being cheeky. But anyway, so let's have a look at opportunities for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Leo. You are watching Thomas's tarot page with myself and my guest, Charlie Evans. So um, you have the weasel for your opportunities. So the card says be silent, pay attention and simply observe your eyes, ears and physical feelings, what is happening inside and all around you. So in terms of money, this could be in terms of having a bit of patience, or not sharing so much with other people um, what you're spending your money on. Just keep it to yourself. Um, have a good think over it, but don't share it too much because that's when your opportunities might be sacrificed or someone might swoop in and take a deal that you were really looking forward to. So make sure to just keep to yourself a little bit this month. Um, but also I feel like opportunities, if you're waiting for a promotion or waiting for something good to happen, just make sure that you're not moaning, that you're not bud badgering people about it. Make sure that you're just taking a step back and making sure that you're keeping all your eyes and ears open, waiting for that opportunity to come to you. Because it will come, you just got to be there ready, patient, ready for it. Okay, thank you very much. That's all we got time for. If you actually subscribe to the channel, you won't miss uh, new videos. And please like, that helps us out a lot. And obviously share, um, just because you don't know who, who of your friends is a Leo, doesn't mean you shouldn't share, because if it means anything or something to you, who knows who else needs to hear these messages. Thank you so much and um, see you all next month. Bye-bye.